This session, I'll explains the optimization options and conditions that user can adjust or modify before the start of the optimization engine. On the left side of the config tab screen, there are options for users to set before the start of the optimization engine. And in the middle of the screen, there are conditions about the port and ship's operations that can be adjusted or modified by users. Items that users can change has been marked in white. Let's look at the options on the left first. One of the major factors that affect the quality of the storage plan is to determine how many containers were placed on the stack. Generally the maximum stacking height affects the storage productivity of the next ports rather than this port. For this reason, the stacking height of the each port should be carefully determined by taking into account overall circumstances on the target port as well as the next ports. TG stacking height which is the reference stacking height at the target port. If the value is set to 99, engine automatically determines the height. By taking into account the loading and discharging situation of the target port and the next port of the route. BS stacking height which is the maximum stacking height at the final port of the target route. If the height is set to 99, engine automatically estimate the height considering the overall situations. BS stacking height is the reference height for the block stowage. And during the optimization process, the maximum stacking height of the target port is determined between TG height and BS height. Next, let's look at the stacking height of the individual container type. Max tier for DG is the maximum stacking height of the dangerous container on deck which apply for all ports in the route. And max tier for RF is for reefer container. And next, stack height for AK which is the stacking height of the OOG container. The engine tries to stack OOG container within the specified height as possible. 45 feet on top. This option indicates whether a 40 feet container can be loaded on top of a 45 feet container. If it is set to OA, 40 feet container can be loaded on top of 45 feet container. If it is 3, it denotes that a 40 feet container cannot be loaded on top of 45 feet container. Next, it's about the container arrangement in the hold, how the container will be placed by its weight. Weight Arrangement If weight arrangement is set to 1, a heavy container is loaded as below as possible. If it's set to minus 1, then a heavy container is loaded as upper as possible. And 0 means there is no user preference and engine will determine the weight arrangement by itself. Terminal tier is to limit the stacking height of the berth side row for securing the passage of GC movement. This option applies to the two outermost rows toward the berthing direction. Considering the port's berthing direction, the engine tries not to stow container more than the specified height. Allow EK on deck is the option for allowing OOG container on deck. If possible, set to yes. Otherwise, no. Allow DG in hold is the option for allowing DG container in hold. If possible, set to yes. Otherwise, no. Separate DG and RF option. If it is set to Y regardless of the IMDG segregation rules, DG and reefer container will stow at a distance from each other, at least one slot distance. Stability. If stability calc is set to Yes, then engine will carry out the ballast optimization as soon as it finishes making the bay plan. To determine the ship's stability indicators such as GM, Trim, healing, shear force, bending moment, and torsion with the minimum ballast of each tanks. Optimization mode which controls trade-offs between space utilization, stevedore productivity, and ship's safety in the optimization. Mode minus one is the fast mode focusing on engine runtime and produce the storage plan with the basic considerations. Mode O is the default setting of balanced engine works toward getting a balanced results. With the consideration of trade-offs between space utilization, stevedore productivity, and the ship safety. Mode 1 which is focused on space utilization, engine will produce more efficient storage plan in the point of space utilization view, as it optimizes the storage problem with the less effort on stevedore productivity, and ship safety. Mode 2 which is focused on stevedore productivity, engine will produce more efficient storage plan in the point of stevedore productivity view as it optimizes the storage problem with the less effort on space utilization and ship's safety. And finally Mo3 which is focused on ship safety. Engine will produce more efficient storage plan in the point of safety view, as it optimizes the storage problem with the less effort on stevedore productivity 
and ship's safety. Scoping mode which specifies the calculation range for booking cargoes of the next port set the processes optimizing block pattern or slot allocation. Mode minus one is the fast mode focusing on engine runtime and produce the stowage plan with the minimum consideration of the bookings of the next ports. MOGO is the default setting, engine will optimize the container loading operations focusing on the stowage plan and departure condition at the target port and the final port of the route, with the default settings of not calculating the stowage pattern at the intermediate ports. Mode 1 is the same as the default setting of O but for blocks where the loading operation at the target port occurs in the slot allocation process, the booking cargoes of the next ports are considered and optimized together. With the setting of 1, slot allocations within blocks can be optimized efficiently. Mode 2, on this mode, in addition to the functionality of Mode 1, the optimization of the block pattern is carried out for all the ports on the route including the target port, the intermediate port and the final port. And finally Mode 3 is to optimize the stowage plan of the target port with the consideration of the booking cargoes of the all ports on the route and the overall processes of the block pattern and slot allocation. With the option 3, the engine will produce the best combinations of loading instructions for the target port, but it takes a lot of time to run. Learning algorithm is the option for whether engine use the pattern learning algorithm while optimizing the storage. It can be specified by Y2, yes and N2, no. With learning policy option, users can select the policy how the learning algorithm finds the adequate storage pattern from the pattern storage. Zero is to choose action which is created from the previous optimization process. One is to choose action from candidates' actions which has the best evaluation values. And two is to choose action from candidate actions which has the best pattern score value. Next, let's go to the middle part of the screen. And there are several items users can adjust before the start of the engine as like the option settings. These values are automatically imported through an interface with the legacy system as is the vessel schedule or cargo booking information, but can be changed here if the user wants to adjust or modify them. In this section, users can adjust the number of stevedore gangs, maximum workable tier and reach of the gantry crane, and departure GM, and trim on each port. Once user has finished the modifying the option settings and the optimizing conditions, just click the Apply Settings button and save the modifications. That's all for the preparation of the engine runs. Thank you.